Hi, so this is going to be a quick video explaining the concept of weight and how it relates to different elements of OSU. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at is cursors, specifically light cursors and heavy cursors. Now I made this pretty, pretty scuffed image, but it shows the difference between light and heavy cursors pretty well. So let's talk about light cursors. These cursors are usually white on blue, white on yellow, white on green, white on any bright color really, and they're pretty blue blurry, as in the circle creating the cursor is not as sharp as heavy cursors. And what that does is it makes your cursor appear faster and lighter than it normally is. Now, arguably, it's pretty hard to explain this with just an image. So I put a link in the description of these same cursors so you can drop them into your skin and see for yourself. A good indicator of lightweight cursors is the ability to pinpoint it while you're looking at the circle, which means when you're playing normally, you don't look at the cursor for the most part. So it determines on how much you're able to catch the cursors in your peripherals, which gives it a sort of weight. So with lightweight cursors, it's really hard to really pinpoint the position of the cursor when you're playing normally. Another indicator is how much it contrasts with your hit circle color. So for example, if let's say I use the first cursor from the top, the white and blue one. Now, if my hit circles are similarly white and blue, like really white and really blue colors, then because both of them are so similar in color, it's going to be really hard to distinguish them which gives the cursor a more light weight feeling to it. Now let's talk about heavy cursors. These cursors are mainly indicated by red. Red is apparently the heaviest color from what I've read, and it's a pretty big indicator in Osu to see red cursors. Like you automatically kind of just tell a red cursor is heavy just based on it having red in it. Uh, but it doesn't have to be red. It can also really be any color that isn't affected by brightness too much. So even stuff from before, like green and blue, if you change it to dark green and dark blue, then the cursor suddenly becomes heavy by nature. It's really just a matter of brightness and sharpness. A really sharp and really saturated cursor appears heavy in contrast to blurry and bright colors. Now, in comparison to lightweight cursors, heavyweight cursors contrast heavily with your hit circle color, which means let's use the same white and blue hit circle from earlier. If I have a red cursor, it's going to be much easier to differentiate the cursor from the hit circle. Now, why does this even happen? How can colors have weight? I don't think I'm very qualified to speak about this, but I'll put a link in the description to some articles or videos which explain it pretty well. My guess is that it has something to do with how our brains perceive light and contrast in different colors, probably an evolutionary thing. Again, I don't think I'm very qualified to speak on this, but apparently there's research done on this, so I'm not just crazy. It is apparently a phenomenon that happens. Now, why should we even care? It's really just a matter of noticing what makes cursors different from each other and using them in different situations. Light cursors are not better than heavy cursors, and heavy cursors aren't better than light cursors. It's really just preference, and I use them for different situations. So for me, I found light cursors to be most useful with high BPM slash high AR maps, like DT or really just anything above 200. 40 BPM. Like really anything that requires fast reaction is something that I would use a lightweight cursor for. For heavy cursors, I would use them on stuff that require precision. So for example, low BPM, high CS, really anything small circles, hard rock is something that I think really benefits from seeing where your cursor is on the screen. Now, again, these aren't rules or anything. You can use every type of cursor for every type of map. This is just my opinion. The whole idea is for you to know the difference and try them in different situations, even if they go against what I said. Now, just as a small bonus, I added a real example of light versus heavy colors on the top right, where you see it showcases the difference pretty well. On the left side, we have something that's very white, blurry, and glowy. That is an indicator of a lightweight color, which would also apply to cursors. On the right, we have something that's very sharp, very reddish, and contrasts with one another. That is an indicator of a heavy color, which is the same with heavy cursors. And that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope I didn't sound too crazy, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below, and I'll see you next time.